Hello, this is Antonio from Wattix. In this video, we will consider how heating degree days and cooling degree days impact kilowatt hour consumption and how the formula composer can be used to incorporate HEDD and CDD data into your energy analysis. So, first of all, let's have a look at uh, uh, what a heating degree and cooling degree days are. They are effectively a measure of how much in degrees and for how long in days the outside temperature was below or above a certain level. So effectively are the measurements designed to quantify demand for energy needed for heating, cooling a building and are derived from measurements of outside air temperature. Wattix automates the process of importing degree days in its energy analytics platform, helping energy consultants use degree days to normalize kilowatt hour usage to determine the efficacy of energy efficiency projects. So let's have a look at the dashboard and how we can use this heating degree days. So if we go to the, uh, to the breakdown tab for a second, uh, we have these alpha hotels and beta hotels. Suppose that we want to import heating degree days. We go to the admin tab. Uh, we look for uh, best resort, the best resort organization. And here is best resort. At this point, I will go to alpha hotel and I can add the new meters and I would select numeric values and the option heating degree days and if I fill this form and I save then my heating degree days will be directly imported in real time on a daily basis from uh, the degreedays.net website. And if I go back to my uh, analytics dashboard I can see that I have already imported here there is one point called um, uh, heating degree days alpha hotels and that's the, the, the points that have been imported from the degreedays.net uh, platform okay so if i go to the formula composer now i can do some cool calculation on uh, on alpha hotels and heating degree days for example i can go to alpha hotel and uh, click um, alpha type alpha hotels which brings me the consumption of the hotels and i can do divided by at uh, heating degree days and here is uh, the system has searched alpha hotel um, and i can do um, heating degree days and I can have the view for the whole year of the uh, heating degree days divided by alpha and I have here also another point in the rule that I can disable here okay and so this this one is the formula meters that uh, shows me the the ratio in real time uh, between alpha hotels and heating degree days now uh, if I want to be even more specific, I can even divide this by the size of the hotels. And I know that Alpha Hotels is 5,000 square meters, so I can divide by 5,000. And that will uh, create me the, uh, heat, the kilowatt hour per heating degree days per square meter for Alpha Hotels. I can go here, I create a, a, I create a new formula meters that we call it Alpha Efficiency. Um, or insulation efficiency because a heating degree day um, heating degree days uh, affect uh, affect and uh, are a measure of the insulation of the heating needed for a particular building and uh, if I add this to my alpha hotel and the, in this case is just other and I will put my unit which is kilowatt uh, kilowatt hour uh, divided by heating degree days divided by square meter and uh, I can start my calculation the day that I want uh, I can agree and I submit and once I submit I've created my uh, efficiency insulation efficiency for the alpha hotel now once I have created for the purpose of this uh, demonstration I've already created this point which is here heating efficiency for alpha and I've also created the same uh, for beta so now I can go back to my breakdown and I can nicely select my uh, heating efficiency for uh, beta and my heating efficiency for alpha and I can go back to the 2017 uh, for example and view the, the full year and I can see them the, the two uh, together uh, and I can uh, for example take out for a moment the alpha I can see my, my beta hotels required 688 kilowatt hour in the 2018 and my alpha hotel instead required I can take this out required 63 kilowatt hour um, uh, efficiency for the hotel 
and the 2018, which is the kind of the efficiency measure divided, so which is the kilowatt hour uh, by the heating degree days by the square meter per month. So which means that uh, the alpha hotels is way more efficient than alpha than beta. So if I have some budget to spend and uh, improve the insulation of these two hotels, certainly I would spend the money into beta and not into alpha. I hope this has been useful. Um, thank you very much for listening and have a great day.